Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're gonna to do a little adventure and check out a viewer recommendation. This is a place called 40 Foot Falls. And from what it was described, it's supposed to be a pretty nice looking waterfall area. It's uh, located in Archibald, Pennsylvania, just outside of Dunmore, Oliphant area. And I'm also not alone today either. I do have Lily and Jill with me. And also I brought the Blue Jay with me in the backpack. So we hopefully get some aerial views. And of course, you're invited too. So if you're ready, come along with me. So pretty cool find after walking along the trail here, we got a uh, old Caterpillar dozer. It's like it's been parked here for quite some time. It's a Caterpillar D9, so that's a, a good size one. All right, so. So far, after a good start, we're going to continue on. So, still continuing on. Not exactly sure if I'm going the right way. I do have a location on Google Maps pinned. But as far as walking to it, I'm just picking a road that kind of borders the area. There's also a reservoir here, too, we're going to check out, which is below the falls. but. Gonna keep pressing on and uh, sooner or later we'll get to it. All right, so we're officially lost. I uh, found the location on Google Maps that was shared with me and there's nothing up there. It's just a flat open area with power lines. So I found a trail, it was an ATV trail. It's hopefully gonna go down and around that area but I don't hear or see anything resembling falls. So I'm hoping this isn't a failure, but I'm gonna keep scouting around and I'll report back when I find something else. Well, it's official, I'm lost. Uh, not only can I not find the falls, but I lost Jill and Lily. I ventured off a trail, seeing if it was gonna lead to it. Looked up on Google Maps and I'm way off course where I'm supposed to be, so I'm gonna, <laughs> hopefully retrace my steps and take a different path that where we did see some water flowing. It didn't look like a big waterfall, but at least it's water. So that may lead us to the source. And a uh, worst case scenario, we don't find the falls, we just find the reservoir. But I'm determined to uh, keep searching though. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so we uh, made some progress. I retraced my steps on the trail that I went on that lead me, uh, led me away from the area I was looking for. Crossed over the road, took another trail, and finally met up with some water. It's a nice little peaceful, tranquil area here. Well, it looks like as we follow it, looks like there might be a uh, cliff here with a waterfall. So let's go check it out together. Almost resembles like a uh, water feature at a miniature golf course, how it comes down over the rocks. Oh yeah, look at that. So up there, it's hard to tell, it's actually a road we came down. And this is where I saw the water, but I didn't think it was a waterfall. But lo and behold, it is. So a little bit further down, there's actually a second waterfall here that cascades over the rock face. And that looks pretty neat. It's a nice secluded spot here, even though people know about it, but you know, it's kind of hidden in the forest here. Now, they said 
prior to them putting in the power lines here, I guess it did look much more beautiful and impressive, but I guess they altered the land a little bit when they had to put the lines in, so. Either way though, it's still kind of cool. And uh, I think the water does lead down to a reservoir, which we're gonna check out a little bit later, but since we're up here though, I think we'll put up the Blue Jay and get some aerial shots. All right, so successfully flew the Blue Jay out here, got some incredible views, video and photos, and hope you guys appreciated what I was able to capture for you. So we're gonna retrace our steps now, go back towards the beginning and find our way to the reservoir. Take a quick look at that, maybe throw up the drone again and get some aerial shots of it. But uh, really cool spot though. Jill and Lily enjoyed it. You know, it was a little difficult getting to, but now that we know where it's at, it's not actually not that bad. The water though is ice cold in case you're wondering, but it is pretty breathtaking and peaceful and relaxing. So we're gonna get moving now and hopefully see you at the reservoir. All right, so we made it back to the beginning of our starting point where we parked the car. After looking at Google Maps, so it looks like there was no easy way to get to the reservoir without having to really bushwhack or descend some steep cliff sides. So we had to uh, get back to the vehicle and go a little bit of a distance down the road to another road or trail that we're on right now. And this looks like it leads right up to the reservoir. So we should be there in a little bit, but in this video, we'll be there in a few seconds. All right, looks like we made it to our next destination. Of course, we got some trash here. Now this is something I did discover on Google Maps while I was locating the area of the 40-foot falls, but my friend Brian, who uh, explores mines with me, he was here recently and I was flying his drone around and I heard this is a pretty popular swimming spot as well. But uh, looks pretty cool, but right out the bat here, it looks like this pipe sprung a leak. I guess it's on purpose. So it's not a big reservoir or spillway here, but it's still cool enough to check out. Could definitely fly the drone here. So uh, we'll take a walk around, show you what it looks like, and then we'll put up the Blue Jay again. So it's pretty cool here. We got a, what I like to call as a pump house. It's more like a valve house. Same thing that's similar to Rocky Glen at the dam. They actually deconstructed it to open up the valves to drain the lake. So that's used to lower the water level up on top. I'll give you a look in there in a bit, but this is uh, pretty cool. Definitely not able to swim down bottom here, but I believe up on top you could. But it's nice cascading steps here. 
see if I get you a little better shot. So here's a look inside the little valve house here. We got say two pipes, two valves. This one's definitely more modern. It's made out of cinder block, corrugated metal roof. So pretty neat. So let's see if we can get a top side and head up there. Okay, so we're top side now above the reservoir and uh, got a little obstacle in front of us here. There's two things that are going against me here. Number one is I don't like heights. Number two is I don't like floors that you can see through. I've had a bad experience with those but I saw the underneath of it. It looks like it's structurally sound and I think I can make it. So I'm going to take you with me and we'll try this. It's not a very far fall. I mean, it's just water below it. But I'm pretty sure if I don't look down, I'll be okay. I'm going to put the camera down, though, to show you. Yeah, it's a little, a little tricky. It's helping them filming and focusing on that. Whew, okay. Oh, wow, this looks really cool. That's a neat swimming area. It's kind of deep right there, too. Well, it's like crystal clear. You can see right to the bottom. That's, uh, if you can see, there's like actually some big boulders there. That's probably about 10 feet deep. And then right down here, Probably about 15 feet deep. But it's really crystal clear though. Kind of awesome. Let's see if they can make it. And here's the uh, high dive platform. No, <laughs> just kidding. But uh, no. it's a good overhead shot. <laughs> Alright, so I just made a recent discovery. I saw that V, as I mentioned right there. That's actually a, the inlet to drain the water. That connects to the valve house. So whenever they want to lower the water level, that's probably the lowest point right there. And the water kind of goes into the pipe. I guess guarantee there's a grate right there with the pipe on it. You'd have to go underwater to see that. I may come here though sometime and uh, do some snorkeling. I've heard the water is very cold because it's coming from the 40 foot falls area that we came from. The water is really cold up there but this is still a really cool spot and it's actually relatively shallow back there too. It looks like you could pretty much walk in it so this is definitely a spot I'm going to be returning to. So right in the middle of the screen, you guys see that? There's a big frog right there. It's kind of hiding in the uh, debris right there. There's another one. Where? Over there. Oh, I see him. You see him? You see him? Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> All right, so now that we got a good look at the reservoir area, let's open up Blue Jay and put her up in the sky and get some incredible shots.
Okay, everyone, that's gonna conclude today's adventure. I like to start off by saying that if you enjoy this adventure and appreciate the videos that I make for you guys, the easiest way to show support is to give the video a thumbs up and to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you enjoyed about the video. And uh, also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you'll get alerts and find out every time I upload a new video, which is at least three times a week. As for the uh, viewer that sent me here, I just want to thank him for letting me know about it. It was a pretty beautiful spot. The 40 foot falls area was really nice. I got to see the top view of it. And uh, even though it's tricky to find, I now know where it's at. So if I want to return, it's uh, not that bad. The reservoir itself is actually my favorite part. I thought it was really cool with the little catwalk area, the cascading falls, and I was able to get some pretty cool drone footage. So with that said, I just want to thank you for watching today. And like I always say, I'll see you in the next video. In case you fall, I'm not going to show this if you don't. <laughs> if you fall, I got to show it. Thank you.